Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Problem number seven also asks you to find two numbers that are related. It says one number is five more than twice the first number. If triple the first number plus seven is equal to double the second number, what are the numbers? So again, we're going to use translation twice. First, to write an expression for the variables or unknowns we're looking for, and secondly, to write the equation so that we can solve it. So if I look at my first sentence, it says one number is five more than twice the first number. So my first number, I'm going to call x. Remember, you're always going to call one of your unknowns x. The second number, I'm going to use translation to find out what expression I can write for it based on what I've already defined the first number as. So it says one number is five more than twice the first number. So the other number, I'm going to have addition because it's more than. Twice the first number means two times that number. So that will be 2x plus 5. Now I'm going to use translation to write my equation. It says if triple the first number plus 7 is equal to double the second number, what are the numbers? So just like I did in the first few problems, I'm going to find my word is. There's my equal sign, is. So the left side will be triple the first number plus 7. So the first number is x. Triple x will be 3 times x plus the 7. Here's my equal sign, is. Double the second number. Double means 2 times. Well, the second number is 2x plus 5. So I want 2. And I'm going to open up a set of parentheses because 2x plus 5 is an expression of the second number. And so my equation would say 3x plus 7 equals 2 times 2x plus 5. Now I'll go through the equation solving process. The left side is already simplified. However, the right side has a distributive property. 2 times 2x is 4x and 2 times 5 is 10. Now I'm going to gather all my variables on one side and my numbers on the other. I'm going to choose to subtract 3x from both sides in order to keep my variable positive. So 3x minus 3x is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. 4x minus 3x is x plus 10. Now I'll subtract 10 from both sides. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. 10 minus 10 is 0. 0 plus x is x. And my coefficient is already 1. Remember, there's a hidden 1 there. So x is equal to negative 3. Now I can find my numbers. The first number is x. And x itself is negative 3. So I know the first number is negative 3. For the second number, I'll substitute negative 3 for x. 2 times negative 3 plus 5. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 5, which is negative 1. So my first number is negative 3, and my second number is negative 1.